according to the lawsuit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court. The complaints are referred to as Jane Doe and John Doe in the suit, which state their names are being withheld to protect their privacy. According to the complaint, a copy of which was obtained by CNN, Jane Doe and John Doe were 14 and seven years old. The girl is 14, the little boy was seven that y'all saw. Respectfully, when they allege that Haddish and Spears had them participate in sexually suggestive videos in separate incidents, incidents in 2013 and 2014. Like I told you, right after she got divorced. When reached for comment by CNN attorneys for Haddish and Spears called the allegations bogus and a shakedown, respectfully. How could you call this bogus? How could you call this a shakedown if the kids have matured and realize what, to, what transpired? How could that be a bogus claim on these kids' behalf? And why would it be a shakedown? Because Honestly speaking, I'm just going to ask any of y'all that got kids. And some of y'all don't have children, but, you know, I'm sure y'all have strong morals. But this is for the parents out here. Would you allow your kid to knowingly, if you knew the premise of this filming, if you knew the storyline, if you knew the script, would you allow your child to participate in it? I don't give a fuck if it was Denzel Washington and goddamn Angela Bassett. I don't care how big of a star they was. Would you let your kids do that? If Tiffany Ash came to you and said, yo, we doing this. It's just a PSA. You know, he's going to act like he's, he's going to molest your son. You telling me you're going to be like, oh, 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 it's just a joke. Oh, it's just a joke, right? He's not going to really, like, sleep with him, right? It's just a joke. Like, it, like who, what parent is letting a seven, seven-year-old boy or a 14-year-old daughter do this? I just want to know. Knowingly. Because the parents wasn't there when they shot this. All right, I've seen enough no's for me to know I can move on. According to the complaint, Haddish was a longtime family friend of the mother of the siblings who filed the lawsuit. Jane Doe was enrolled in a comedy camp in 2013 where Haddish... Jane Doe was enrolled in a comedy camp in 2013 where Haddish was a guest speaker and told the teen, the then teen girl, she had a perfect role for her. The complaint, the complaint states, the star allegedly drove the girl to a studio where she and Spears showed her a video of an older man and a college age woman eating a sandwich simultaneously from either end while moaning and making sexual noises as they both ate the sandwich in a manner that sim simulated the act of fellatio. You kidding me right now? She wanted a 14-year-old girl to do this? Why is they whole three skits got to do with sex. And they talking about they sending this shit to Nickelodeon? No, they were sending this shit to some Hollywood exec nigga that was going to beat off to it and was going to pay them for it and give them big roles for it, allegedly. Spears then told the plaintiff 
Jane Doe that he wanted her to mimic what she had seen on the screen, including the noises precisely like what she heard throughout the video. The Stu, the Sue states, plaintiff Jane Doe, nervous and disgusted, didn't say anything until Haddish came into the room next to her and sat down. Haddish verbally explained what was expected of plaintiff Jane Doe and then showed plaintiff Jane Doe how to give fellatio, including movements, noises, moaning, and groaning. No. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So they got they got Aerie Spears in the room showing the girl the video. And then they got Tiffany come in to reiterate it and shows the girl how to give oral sex. Allegedly, according to this. Spears then told the plaintiff, Jane Doe, that he wanted her to mimic what she had seen on the screen, including the noises precisely like what she heard throughout the video. The suit states, plaintiff Jane Doe, nervous and disgusted, didn't say anything until Haddish came in the room next to her and sat down. Haddish verbally explained what was expected to, what, what, would, what was expected of plaintiff Jane Doe and then show plaintiff Jane Doe how to give fellatio, including movements, noises, moaning and groaning. Physically, emotionally and mentally uncomfortable, plaintiff Jane Doe mimicked the acts that Haddish and Spence wanted her to do so she could go home. The complaint continues. Haddish allegedly then paid $100 and sent her home, according to the complaint. $100? John Doe alleges that in the summer 2014, Haddish offered to book, arrange, and film Mr. Doe content for a Nickelodeon sizzle reel at the home of Spears. Haddish claimed the reel would be used to book Mr. Doe on Nickelodeon. Why are they calling this kid Mr. Doe? Let's just refer to him as John Doe, not Mr. Doe. Because he can't be a grown-ass man. Now, how old is he? 7 and 14. So he's 21 now. 21, 22. Yeah. He's 20, 22 going on 23, maybe. All right. So I understand why they call him Mr. Doe now. All right. So John Doe alleges that in the summer of 2014, Haddish offered to book, arrange, and film Mr. Doe content for a Nickelodeon sizzle reel at the home of Spears. Haddish claimed the reel would be used to book Mr. Doe on Nickelodeon. They was going to use that to look to book him on Nickelodeon? Yeah, they probably was. They probably would have booked him after one of these executives allegedly got him in the room and did the same shit to him after y'all groomed him, allegedly, to be comfortable with grown folks touching on him, allegedly. Upon information and belief, Haddish and Spears removed the seven-year-old victim from his sister, placed him upstairs in a bedroom, and stripped the child down to his underwear, according to the lawsuit. The video was entitled, Through a Pedophile Eyes and shows Spears lusting over the seven-year-old child and rubbing his back. Haddish was present during the filming of the entire video, the complaint states. Photos allegedly from the video shoot are included in the complaint. According for Haddish, excuse me, an attorney for Haddish said in a statement to CNN that the plaintiff's mother 
has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Miss Haddish for several years. Uh, hello? You probably was ducking and dodging for several years. Right after her son and daughter told what happened. Every attorney who has initially taken on her case, and there were several, ultimately dropped the matter once it became clear that the claims were meritless and Miss Haddish would not be shaken down, the statement read, adding that the mother has her adult daughter represent herself in this lawsuit. The two of them will together face the consequences of pursuing this frivolous action. Frivolous action? This is a frivolous action? This is a frivolous action. Okay, Tiffany. The mother of the plaintiff's name in the statement. The mother of the plaintiff's name in the statement. CNN is not including her name in our reporting to protect the privacy of their minor children. Jane Doe is now 22 and the legal, and the legal guardian of John Doe, now 15 according to the complaint. He isn't going to fall for any shakedown, Deborah Opry, an attorney for Spears, said in a statement to CNN. So what happens is now is the sister who was 14 now has legal ownership, I mean, legal guardianship over her little brother who is now 15. This boy was seven. He's 15. He knows that shit was wrong now. Ain't like he waited till he was 30, 40 years old. This is just eight years for both of them. And they calling this a shakedown? I want to see what they, what they uh, actually charge me. This is crazy. Oh, you know what? This is an interview that the girl Jane This one got a little more information. Hold on. During their childhood, Jane Doe and her younger brother say they called Tiffany Haddish Auntie Tiff. The comedian had their mother the comedian had met their mother through the comedy circuit and used to refer to the siblings as her niece and nephew. But in a lawsuit filed on Monday night in which Jane is anonymous plaintiff on behalf of both herself and her brother, who is a minor, the siblings alleged that Haddish and her fellow comic, Aries Spears, recruited each of them to perform inappropriate acts on camera when they were children. Jane Doe, now 22, 
and her younger brother, John, now 15, have adopted pseudonyms due to the respective ages at the time of the allegation. Jane, who is also John's legal guardian, is the plaintiff in the lawsuit, both individually and on her minor brother's behalf. The siblings' complaint, which names Haddish and Mad T TV alum, spares as defendants uh, centers on two alleged incidents in which Haddish and Spears allegedly encouraged one of the siblings to perform sexually subjective, subject, suggestive, sexually suggestive acts on camera while underage. Representative for, uh, representatives for Spears and Hash did not respond to the Daily Beast request for the comment. Request for comment. Jane was 14 years old when her alleged video shoot took place and John was seven. Their mother alleges that she and Ad Haddish met through the comedy, met through comedy and bonded over a shared source of strife. We were both going through a divorce. Then I tell y'all, the mother told Daily Beast, messy, 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 messy divorces. We just got really, really super, super close. According to the lawsuit, Haddish called the family for every birthday and every Christmas. The siblings' mother noted that for years, Haddish reallowably checked on real real reallowably checked in, whether that be from a movie set or overseas. In the summer of 2013, when Jane was 14 years old. The lawsuit states that she attended a comedy camp where Haddish appeared as a guest speaker. Around that time, Haddish allegedly told the child that she found the perfect role for her, her very own commercial. Neither Jane nor her mother knew what the shoot would entail, according to the lawsuit. Only Haddish and Spears, who was also on hand to produce the video, are said to have known the plot. The clip spares and Haddish asked Jane to watch in the recording booth allegedly seemed uh, to seem at first a little strange. A group of co-eds were arguing over a Subway sandwich, but the co-eds began eating the sandwich in a suggestive manner from opposite ends, moaning and making sexual noises as they both ate the sandwich in a manner that simulated the act of fellatio per the lawsuit. The complaint claims that Spears told Jane to mimic what she seen on, on the screen, including the noises, precisely what she heard throughout the video. The 14-year-old, who was allegedly nervous and disgusted, fell, si fell silent until Haddish returned to the room, the lawsuit claims. Haddish verbally explained what was expected of the plaintiff, Jane Doe, and then showed the plaintiff, Jane Doe, how to give fellatio including movements, noises, moaning, and groaning, the lawsuit states. At that point, Jane told the Daily Beast, I knew 100% what they wanted out of me. The lawsuit describes Spears allegedly looking on while a physically, emotionally, and mentally uncomfortable Jane received this instruction. I tried to mimic what they wanted me to mimic but it still came out just super uncomfortable, Jane told the Daily Beast. I knew I left the booth that I didn't complete what they wanted me to do. Haddish paid me $100, the lawsuit claims, before sending her home. I mean, Haddish paid Jane $100, the lawsuit claims, before sending her home. At, that, at the time, Jane said she tried to shrug off what happened I didn't confide to my mom. I didn't confide to nobody else about how weird I felt at the moment. She said, she said, a year later, Haddish allegedly approached the children's mother with a similar pitch, recruiting James' little brother this time, John, for another video. Although the comedian allegedly told the family John would be filming a sizzle reel for Nickelodeon, the suit alleges the seven-year-old would, would wind up starring in a video 
posted on Funny or Die and other online platforms titled Through a Pedophile's Eyes. A representative for Funny or Die told the Daily Beast in a statement, Funny or Die found this video absolutely disgusting and would never produce such a content. We were not involved in that con concept, development, funding, or production of this video. It was uploaded to the site as user-generated content and was removed in 2018 immediately after becoming aware of his, 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 his uh, existence. Both siblings allegedly attended the shoot. Wait a minute. Both siblings, oh, both siblings. Both siblings allegedly attended the shoot. The lawsuit claims took place in Spears' home. Jane said Haddish behavior changed once the children arrived at the home, no longer in the company of their mother. It was like a whole, a 180 almost, she told the Daily Beast. Tiffany had never been mean to me, never raised her voice to me until this point. According to the lawsuit, the children were separated during the shoot. Jane recalls that Haddish told her to remain on the couch downstairs while her brother's shoot took place upstairs. The Daily Buse has reviewed a recording of the video in which, Had in which Haddish plays the boy's guardian and leaves him with Spears, who plays a pedophile. John spends most of his video clad only in his underwear as Spears' character leers at him through, through two holes cut into a newspaper he pretends to read. During the sketch, the camera zooms in on the seven-year-old butt ox and crouch while he plays. Spears sprays, Spears sprays baby oil onto the child's back and massages it into his shoulders in one scene. And at another point, the child plays with the train in a manner that suggests phallic masturbation. I ain't see that part. I don't want to see that part, but I need to look up this word phallic. See what it means. Relating to resemblance of philosophers or erect penis. Yo! They had the little boy jerking off, yo, with a train looking at him. This is disgusting. This is the word I was struggling with. Falik, Falik, Falak, Falik. Falik. Relate into or resembling a phallus or erect penis. Yo, they foul. Now they, I didn't show it in that that video. I had, it didn't have that part. They cut it out. A lot of stuff they cut out in that video that y'all saw. A lot of stuff was cut out for that reason. And like, who would want to see that little boy looking at him beating off with a train? Like he holding the train, and they they got him like beating off with the train. Like he like the little boy, seven years old. Masturbating? And y'all got all Kelly, like, y'all not telling us this ain't child pornography? This is not soft child pornography. Pronounced for lick. Wow. Felic, like uh, fellatio, 
for Lick. I get it. Uh, thanks, Natalie. Let me get back to it. John spends most of the video clad only in his underwear. Spears character lives at him through two holes cut into a newspaper. He pretends to read. During the sketch, the camera zooms in suggestively on the seven-year-old buttocks and crotch while he plays. Spare sprays baby oil onto the child's back and massages it into his so into his shoulders in one scene. And at another point, the child plays with the train in a manner that suggests flick masturbation. In another sequence, Spare smokes a cigarette while observing the child nude in the bathtub and pours water on his feet. By the time the video ends, the child is peering at his babysitter through a newspaper and rubbing baby oil on his shirtless shoulder. The final line on the screen text ends, watch who you leave your kids with. Yeah, dumb two sick ass motherfuckers. Once filming ended, the lawsuit states, Mr. Doe called his mother crying saying he did not want to film anymore. When her brother come down, when her brother came downstairs, Jane recalled, he was red in the face, crying his eyes out, just bawling out in tears. And I'm immediately scared because I don't know what happened to him. When that happened, the only thing I could feel was how I felt in my video with Tiffany, Jane added later. I didn't know at the time if anything happened with him, like what happened with me. But I just felt like something wasn't right with that moment. The sibling's mother was immediately alarmed when she received the phone call from her crying son. And the, answer, and the answers she allegedly received from Haddish did little to reassure her. She said something to the effect of, I don't think acting is for him. The mother recalled. And I'm like, what the F you mean acting is it for him? My son is crying. Like, what is going on? The sibling's mother allegedly spent the next week contacting Spears and asking to see the footage of her son. Spears allegedly kept repeating that it had not been edited yet. Eventually, the lawsuit states that Spears claimed John and John had been so uncooperative that his footage had been deemed unusable and subsequently deleted. Yeah, right. If it was deleted, eyes out. Four years later, however, the Gossip website, Boston published an article about Spears that described the sketch. It was then for the first time that John's mother says she became aware of what actually been filmed. So the parents ain't know. They just trusted in Tiffany to take their kids and, you know, do what she was going to do to get them on Nickelodeon. They ain't know they was going to allegedly go shoot no child pornography. All the trauma, all the memories, all the anxiety and the depression and guilt and shame and fear, I feel like all those emotions were triggered when this video situation came to a head, she said, to find out what she had violated such a, to find out that she had violated such a sacred trust, I trusted her with my children. That is what pushed me over the edge. Oh, let me get some water. Both Jane and John continue to live with trauma of what they endured. The lawsuit states, 
Jane allegedly struggled to trust people and has developed a social disorder that prevents socializing. She feels constant remorse knowing that she was only a few feet away when Spears was molesting her seven-year-old little brother in the other room, allegedly. I'm saying allegedly, according to the lawsuit. As Jane put it, I don't date guys. I don't have sex. I'm not your regular 22-year-old who is partying, having fun, and hooking up and stuff. Her little brother, meanwhile, allegedly places band-aids over the cameras of all his electronics due to the ongoing fear of being watched and recorded. They done traumatized this little boy. The lawsuit lists eight causes of action. Spears and Haddish are both accused of intentional infliction of emotional distress. I would see they could be found guilty of that. Gross negligence. I could see them being guilty of that. Sexual battery without a goddamn question. Sexual harassment without a goddamn question. And sexual abuse of a minor. Without a goddamn question. Homeland Security, the ones that went and got R. Kelly, did you see this? Haddish is further accused of negligent supervision, failure to warn, breach of, I don't know what this word is, fiduciary duty. What is fiduciary duty? Fiduciary. fiduciary fiduciary involving trust especially in regard to the relationship between a trustee and a beneficiary held or given in trust got it so Involving trust. Uh, where was I? Haddish is further accused of negligent supervision, failure to warn, breach of fiduciary duty, and constructive fraud. The lawsuit seeks general and special damages as well as any appropriate statutory damages. Oh, shit. Jane took over John Guardian around the end of 2019 or the start of 2020 due to a cascading series of traumatic personal issues that impacted their mother's mental and physical health. She has also enrolled both herself and her brother in therapy, according to the lawsuit, including, including in the complaint. Including in the complaint is a statement John wrote during his treatment saying that the pedophile sketch effed him up bad. I don't got no friends. The, no, the now teenager wrote, I don't trust nobody. I'm scared of adults. I refuse to be recorded or take pictures because I'm scared of red ass adults trying to do nasty stuff to me again. I spend all of my time in my room and I do not go anywhere because I don't trust anybody. Ah, oh, that's so traumatic. That would do that to a kid. When you become older and you look back at that video and know what they was doing and back and as a kid, you, you really don't know what the hell they doing. And you don't know what they have you doing. You just doing what they tell you. And then you get mature and you look back like, yo, Holly, what the, what? And then that's Hollywood, where you can't trust nobody and you're scared of adults. I refuse to be recorded or take pictures because I am scared of weird ass adults trying to do nasty stuff to me again. Now, no disrespect to Dwayne Wade. 
But imagine Dwayne Wade bringing his son girl clothes to try on. You see how young his son was? When he was doing this, let his son do this. Now his son could turn around at 15 and be like, yo, what the fuck? Kids don't know, man. They don't know. You got they gotta develop. That's why you do that shit when they when they grown. You let them get grown and make these decisions. I don't got no friends, the now teenager wrote. I don't trust nobody. I'm scared of adults. I refuse to be recorded or take pictures because I'm scared of weird ass adults trying to do nasty stuff to me again. I spend all of my time in the room and do not go anywhere because I don't trust anybody. John adds later, I had to kick and scream and cry. And Tiffany came and told me, to let me to let him touch me. I'm not gonna be able to read too much more of this. I like let me just breeze through it because this shit is really messing with my emotions. Like, and this woman's on a big screen, all, all these people, oh. Yo, you just hate it. You just hate it. You just hate it. Why every time somebody is successful and rich, they got to sell their soul to the devil or they had to do some gay stuff or some pedophile stuff. Y'all be hated. Y'all always saying that somebody got to do something. Ten years later, this comes out. Oh, I like Tiffany and girls trip, though, you know? Um, oh, those dumb people, they just hating on her. You know, that mother knew that they was doing that. That mother knew that. That mother was trying to get her son on Nickelodeon. But y'all don't think that this is just morally wrong, just the conception of it, just the concept of it. It's wrong in itself just to think of doing it and to try to find somebody's kid to do it. Not neither one of these motherfuckers use their kids. Or they siblings. Why they use, they ain't got no nieces and nephews. They ain't got no aunties and uncles that got kids. How you defending this? Anybody out there? John asked later, I had to kick and scream and cry. And Tiffany came in and told me to let him touch me. When I kept crying, Tiffany got mad at me, told me to get dressed and took me on. I remember her yelling at me in the car, telling me that I would never get on TV acting like that. Yeah, not in Hollywood, you won't. Not in Hollywood. You got to let the adults touch you. Molest you. You got to let the men sleep with you when you're you a heterosexual. You want to be successful, right? Y'all think it's a joke? Y'all think all these, I'm just hating on the niggas? If they did this thinking of the people that you know, like you see this flight log, y'all thinking that flight log is a joke? Or can it be a joke? If you see, if, if Tiffany and, and, and Ari Spears' name was on that, on that flight log and this came out, how would y'all feel? Prior to, to seeing this, you probably would have been like, nah, I don't, I don't believe that. They wouldn't even be around no kids like that. Yo, I know them like they would never do nothing like that. I had to kick and scream and cry. And Tiffany came in and told me, let him touch me. 
when I was crying. Tiffany got mad at me and told me, get dressed. And took me home. I remember I was being in the car telling me, you'll never get on TV acting like that. I know now that they are effed up for what they did to me. The 14-year-old statement concludes. And none of this is my fault. I was seven. The sibling's mother negotiated a settlement in 2019. The lawsuit states, but that agreement allegedly does not bind Haddish. Who the why they got a settlement? We need to look up the settlement. The sibling's mother negotiated a, settle, a settlement in 2019. Oh, that's why they saying this is a shakedown. They saying it's a shakedown because they already paid the mother. But now the kids are older and they filing on their own. So that's why they saying it's a shakedown because they already paid them. They done paid the mother to shut up. When it came out in 2018, 2019, they got a settlement. But the kids ain't got nothing to do with that. And like they said, the mother is messed up in the head. That's why they calling this a shakedown. Big O. They calling it a shakedown because they already paid them. No, they already paid the mother. That's why they calling this a shakedown because they paid the mother. The sibling's mother negotiated settlement in 2019, the lawsuit states. But that agreement allegedly does not bind Haddish who the complaint alleges insinuated she wanted no part of the Spears settlement agreement via text. So Spears, Aries, did a settlement with them, and she didn't want to be a part of this settlement, or the siblings who had no guardian at Lidham present to represent their interests as minors. That's why Aries is calling this a shakedown. He paid his money already. He like, yo, I paid them off. I ain't paying the kids too. And the settlement document, which the Daily Beast has re reviewed, Spears denies the valid the Spears denies the Spears denies the validity of the claims regarding the video production and distribution, but agrees to stop distribution exhibit exhibit. To, to stop the distribution and further use of the video. The document names Spears, the sibling's mother, and John and Jane does not appear. Wait, the document names Spears, the sibling's mother, and John and Jane does not appear. Oh, so... And her claims, it's just the it's Spears settlement. It ain't got the kids. It's just the mother. So the kids do got the right to sue him on their own because he settled that with the mother. Depending on whatever type of settlement they had. But in the settlement, he just he he agreed to stop putting it out. The siblings. Mother also filed the police report against Spears and Haddish in January of 2020, but nothing apparently came of that. The Daily Beast has reviewed the copy of the report. Homeland Security, the same way y'all ran up on R. Kelly. Hello, the mother filed the report. Why y'all ain't getting them? Why y'all not getting them? The sibling's mother also filed a police report against Spears and Haddis in January of 2020, but nothing apparently came out of it. Why? Because they made a deal with the devil. The devil will protect you. This is where Tiffany and ain't nothing going to happen to them because, but humiliation. They ain't not going to go, they ain't going to get in trouble for this. This, this is the humiliation part of the devil, the receipts. To, you know, y'all got the fame and all that. This is where I embarrass you. You know, it's like Rumpelstiltskin. He going to help you get, have a child. And then he coming back after you have a child and take that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? For months, I used to sit in my closet and cry until I fell asleep, the mother said. I would literally wake up on the floor in my closet because I didn't want the kids to hear me crying. This is so traumatic. She also attempted suicide at one point, she said, but it was interrupted when her son asked her for help making breakfast. I wanted Tiffany to see the error of her ways. I wanted her to do the right thing as far as helping me with therapy and with the kids and stuff. But the way she got real Hollywood on us, the mother said, this was not the same friend that had been a friend of me. Of course not. You sound like D Haven and everybody else they got left behind by niggas that sold they soul. This was not the same friend that had been a friend of me. You're goddamn right. Because they cut your ass off once they uh, sign their name in blood, allegedly. In that moment, Jane said, it became clear to the family that all we really got is each other. And the common goal is to make sure that John is okay. The family has since made it their mission to heal together in part through family therapy sessions, addressing everything, unpacking everything, and forgiving each other. That, that, that's big that the kids, you know, will forgive their mother for, you know, putting them in the hands of somebody that brought harm to them. For years, Jane has lived with regret of not being able to protect her younger brother. However, to her younger bro to her younger self that however unfair to her younger self that feeling might be, it felt like God knows what happened to him. And I wasn't there to protect him, she said. Now, however, things are different. As an adult, I have the power to protect my little brother now and have the power to do something about what happened to him, Jane said. And that's what my goal is to get done. Just to show my little brother that, hey, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to protect you and be there for you then. But this is how I'm showing up for you now. While Haddish did not respond to the request for comment for days prior to this story, running following the publication of the story, Andrew Brettler, an attorney representing Haddish, issued a statement on her behalf saying that the plaintiff's mother has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Ms. Haddish for several years. Now, the mother has an adult daughter representing herself in this lawsuit. The two of them will together face the consequences of pursuing this frivolous action. Okay. There's a frivolous action? Shh, they gonna eat them fucking words, boy. If they ain't eating them shits already. That joint is crazy, dog. That joint is crazy. Think about Orlando. What's that little nigga name? Is it Orlando Anderson? The one that be uh, coming out talking about Raven Simone and, and Bow Wow got some bomb booty. Uh, is it what's, what's his kid name, man? Orlando Brown. Yeah, Orlando Brown. You see how he's from being a child star? You see how he be telling y'all how the stuff with him and Nick Cannon and all that was going on? You know what I'm saying? You see Tevin Campbell and, and other child stars like that? Like, my kids might have been mad at me for not fucking letting them get in the industry, but I was never... As talented as they are, never letting them get in. It ain't was nothing for me to put them on TV. I would never. I knew. I knew better. You better off with a regular life. You don't want to come into this. They tested me as a grown man. I'd be damned if I'm going to leave my babies with some, some weirdos. And sometimes, you, as parents, you got to trust in some people to let 
you know, let your kids go with them. Everybody's not a creep. Everybody is not uh molested other people's children. That 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 is not a a common thing for you know people with people in their life that have relationships with their kids. That doesn't happen to everybody, but you have to be a very good, strong character of people. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you want to trust mostly with people that, you know, that have kids and see their relationship with their kids and how their kids are before you trusting your, your, uh, sending your kids off with people that don't got kids with these ill ass intentions because nobody, I don't think, would a child would have want to do the skit or would allow a chill child to go and do the skit. And we can't act like it ain't no black market audience for that type of uh, content. That is a that is a, a black market content. They probably got big money for that shit. They did that joint and they blew up off of it. Tiffany Addis blew up off of that. Ah, shit. After that, she, what you call it, she was out of here. 2014, everything changed for her. She in the Tyler Perry joint. And she's not even funny, dog. She's hood funny. Ghetto funny. Everybody got a homegirl like her. But she's not skilled funny. She's not, she's not writing these jokes. She's not a better comedian than Whoopi Goldberg. She's not a better comedian than uh, Samoa. She's not a better comedian than Monique. This is what happens when you sell your soul. Now we've seen that at one point she shaved the hair off ritualistic stuff all this stuff is what they do behind the scenes that y'all think ain't real y'all think this stuff don't go on y'all think these people just get on because they talented this girl just blew up overnight nobody know where the hell she came from i ain't saying that she didn't try she didn't struggle she didn't go through the rank but her success don't match her talent She got a little of that Lucifer steroids in her. But let's see what happens with this. For the, for the, the, the for them the where they sold out at, watch. Ain't nothing gonna happen to her. They gonna protect her. You are you gonna see celebrities out here that's down with that ish, that same club she's in. They're going out, out here and they're going to find a way to try to justify what they did. And like, like they they like they don't believe a little seven-year-old boy get into his teens and realize what sex is and everything. And couldn't be traumatized. Y'all lucky that this kid realized what the hell y'all did to him and he is traumatized by it. And instead of him being 15 years old right now, molesting somebody else's kid, thinking that what y'all told him was right. You ever thought of that, Tiffany and Aries? 
that you could have been grooming that little boy to be a pedophile? When he got older, he think it's okay for him to, to rub on, on kids with baby oil and stuff and get in the tub with kids? Did you have, did y'all think of that shit? Y'all could have groomed this boy into being a pedophile. From what they say, this is what would cause R. Kelly to have uh think that it was nothing wrong with being with kids because he was uh touched by it as a child. Y'all ain't think about that, right? Y'all told y'all calling this shit frig frivolous and bogus. You don't think this kid at seven years old just turned 15, 16, now he's about to probably start having sex and then realize how wrong that shit was? You don't think that he got educated about pedophilia or getting educated about pedophilia right now as he going through school to know that, oh, shit. Yo, they had me do that sick-ass shit. That's what that meant. Y'all got him beating off with a train. Let's see if my goddamn Homeland Security's on your ass. Let's see if they're on your ass. How is that not child, uh, soft child pornography? How is that not taking advantage of a child? How is that not sexually uh, assaulting a child? He don't, he's not aware, he's not giving you fucking consent to do this dumbass weirdo shit. Yeah, whoever, whoever's defending these two idiots. Weirdos. They got to work for the devil. How is this not sexual abuse of a minor? How is it not sexual harassment? If it's not sexual harassment with this nigga sitting there looking through the newspaper, lusting on this nigga. Him putting his dick in his face in the bathtub. She should have grabbed. Why she didn't use Kevin Hart's son for that shit? Use Kevin, one of Kevin Hart's children. See what the hell he would have did. That shit ain't negligent supervision. Yes. And then she barking on him, talking about, yo, let him touch you. Fucking nigga looking all weird and scary and shit. You talking about, let Freddy Krueger rub his knives on you and shit. This nigga looking like Freddy Krueger, scary as Freddy Krueger. And she talking, yo, let him rub them knives on you. Nah, they got to they got to check her. And she out the country right now. Conveniently. Where she probably they don't know who the hell she is, where she at. Oh, soon as she touched down in mother in America, every person she walked by, y'all better be on her ass and tell her, yo, you better apologize to them damn kids. They need it. And y'all, y'all, yo, man. 
y'all be quick to cancel other people. I want to see what, what y'all going to do with this one. Like, ain't nothing funny about that skit at all. Nigga, talking about bogus. Bogus, frivolous claims. Okay. Bogus, frivolous claims. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all be thinking this industry shit is, is something different. I'll be telling y'all be thinking niggas be making up shit and and how niggas is weird. And I'm a grown man and is feeling uncomfortable in, around certain individuals in this industry. Imagine a child. Imagine a child. Man. Choke no joke, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Same bad time, same bad channel, man. 7 p.m. Happy Labor Day to y'all. Stay the hell. Thanks Don't the love. follow those cats. Appreciate it. Choke no joke. You already know. Let's go out to Grey Go. Now I'm out the game. Feel good, not pitching in the hood. And I really don't think I could. Go back to selling crack and stashing up packs in my ass. I maintain weekly money the same. And now nah, I don't go through them games. Niggas testing my brain with them triple beans filled with change. Pot crack, grams in the drain. Getting hit with the fake exchange. Like bacon soda flour. After being on Broadway for hours. Getting knocked, being back at start. Niggas testing if I got hard. Yeah. Pushing me to pop some shots. Just stop the ball before it starts. Old lady with the binocs. Give description to cops. Why they try to tear us apart with that good cop, bad cop. I ain't going for the game, he ain't tell you a thing. Your partner's with them saying the same. You can tighten them cuffs till you see veins. Stop fucking yanking up they might fuck you if you ain't sane And nigga never sniff cocaine uh -huh. And I don't care what game Or part of the area you claim Gray Scarface, you must be insane Nigga, Tony fucked the boy's dame His right hand man, he slain To get his back blown out the game Do it on the low, let nobody know No pillow talk to home and if he step on your toes, don't bust a blame. Cause everybody will know. Or get out the game. Yeah. They say that change is good. Uh -huh. It's a lot of stress in the hood. And I know if you could, you would. Get out the game, but you stuck in that time. Where the nigga in public like shine. For a witness to drop a dime. For self-defense, do a dime. Celebs doing time. Mike Vick on the child line. Yeah. Even Kobe, Repeat. Jason Williams, Gage, kick like Shinobi. Little Kim for perjury. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Let's go. When it's late night, make sure it's packed tight. And when, when you take, take those flights, never eye the Jake in sight. And shake them fuckers when they dead to right. Uh. Make it a fifth go rumble Because of stick of trouble Blasting your gap for a cat For in fact for some crap that don't involve you For some dudes that don't love you All they wanna do is pawn you Until you go down And don't do shit for you when you lock down Or even when you touch down But they tell you to go to the pound The same block that gave you a pound Years in the pen my state of you in when you back it for 10 and you was just waiting for a team to come home to relive it again and trap me should be a sin the way they real a sin we'll roll us to a revolving door to bring us in
This shit is insane. The game is insane. The game will fuck with your brain. That's why I'm out of the game. Yeah. Just get out the game, man. I know they told y'all there's only two ways out. Jail and death. Nah, just get out, nigga. Just get out, man. It's easy. Just walk away, nigga. If they care about you, they'll let you go. If you in the game and you want to go and get a better life and they won't let you walk away, what do that say? Get out the game, nigga. You want to sleep easy, nigga. Look at these rap niggas, nigga. You want to be the next rapper, trapper, clapper, federal indictment rapper. Keep telling y'all niggas, man, get out the game, man. Joke no joke. Grego, you already know. The beast is chemical, baby. That's why I'm out the game. Stay the end.